How to blow a bubble with bubblegum. Blowing bubbles with bubblegum is a favorite pastime for kids and kids at heart alike. It can make the act of chewing gum into a whole lot of fun. Blowing bubbles isn't that hard. The key to success lies in learning the proper breathing technique and how to manipulate the gum with your mouth. Everyone can do it. All it takes is a little practice and technique. Part 1 Chewing the Gum One, buy some bubblegum. You can buy gum at pretty much every corner store. Chewing gums can be used to make bubbles, but they won't be as big, and they'll usually pop too easily. To start off, select a pack of bubblegum like Double Bubble or Bazooka. Generally, if there is a picture of a bubble on the package, it's a good choice. Some gums are also stickier, making them harder to remove from your face when they pop. Usually, if you chew these gums a little longer before blowing a bubble, they won't be quite as sticky. Gums with less sugar often have a stronger gum base for making bubbles. Gum bases contain a long molecule that adds elasticity to the gum. The right amount will make for the best texture for bubbles. Avoid old gums. If your gum is stale it will be more dry harder to chew, and bad for making bubbles. Use fresh gum to get the best results. Two, chew one piece of strip of bubblegum for starters. More gum does not necessarily equal more bubble. At this stage, you're just learning how to blow a bubble so you don't want to overdo the amount of gum in your mouth. Unwrap one piece and pop it into your mouth. 3. Chew the bubblegum until it is soft and smooth. Work it around your mouth. Chew until the flavor and sugar crystals in it mostly disappear and the bubblegum is very pliable, soft and easily bent. This can take a few minutes, so be patient. Don't wait too long. After a long time, perhaps half an hour, the bubblegum will deteriorate, becoming stiffer and brittle, and won't work as well. Part 2 Making a Bubble One, roll the gum into a ball with your tongue. Use the roof of your mouth to steady the gum in place while you work the ball shape. It doesn't have to be a perfect circular shape, just so that gum is compacted wad. Move this ball of gum so that it sits right behind your front teeth. Use your tongue to flatten the ball into a small, flat circle. Use the back of your teeth to help flatten it by pushing the ball into them. Two, push your tongue through the flattened gum. Open your teeth slightly, and extend your tongue until it extends out of your mouth and is covered by a thin, stretched layer of bubble gum. You'll need to be very gentle or you might poke your tongue right through. If that does happen, just form the ball again and start over. Keep practicing as this step can be difficult. Practice in front of a mirror so you can see when the tip of the gum is in the right position. 3. Breath air into pocket of gum around your tongue. Blow gently until you can feel the air begin to fill the gum and start to push the gum out of your mouth in a bubble shape. Many people make the mistake of blowing just out of their lips rather than using breath from deeper within. Lip breath is not strong enough to produce a proper bubble so be sure to put more energy into it. The appropriate way to push air into the gum is like producing a heavy sigh. Use your diaphragm to push the air and exhale. 4. Pull your tongue out of the layer of gum. 
Once the air pressure starts expanding the gum you can remove your tongue. The edges of your teeth will help to keep the gum in place. Keep blowing, slow and steady, as you gradually expand the gum. Keep your mouth open. Resist the urge to close your lips after. Removing your tongue. Keeping your mouth in a open position will give you a larger area to push air through. Five, keep blowing as long as you can, or until the bubble bursts. Use slow, even breaths. This will allow your gum time to expand. See how big you can make a bubble before it pops. For the biggest bubbles, blow bubbles inside. Stay away from wind and hot or cold temperatures. Cold air and wind can pop your bubble. Early, while hot air can make it so pliable it gets limp. Six, seal off the bubble. Press your lips together slightly to close the bubble. This will prevent the bubble from getting more air and becoming bigger than desired, or from allowing the air in the bubble to escape. If you want to avoid the mess of a bubble popping in your face, you can draw the bubble back into your mouth and pop it with your tongue. Seven, practice, practice, practice. You may not succeed the first few tries, but that's all part of the fun. Just keep trying until it happens for you and you get the hang of what it feels like. Blowing bubbles can take some getting used to for your jaw, mouth and diaphragm. With practice you will strengthen the muscles and the process will become easier. Tips Wet your lips a bit before making a bubble and the gum won't stick to your lips when the bubble pops. Warnings Don't swallow your gum. Many gum bases are made of plastic, wax and rubber, so always spit it out when you're done. Things you'll need Bubble gum